<laughs> we won't be long, dear. Are you coming, Rupert? Right behind you, Mum. Oh. Yeah! <laughs> Off to Nutchester, I see. <laughs> if I can tame this basket. Can we bring you back anything, dear? Hmm. How about a tin of Chinese twig tea? Not only is it a relaxing drink, but the tea leaves are a wonderful fertilizer. <laughs> I knew you enjoyed a cup of tea, Dad, but I never realized your lilacs did as well. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for helping with the shopping, Rupert, dear. I hope you didn't have something else more exciting planned for today. Not a chance, Mum. I'm looking forward to us spending the day together. So I, my friends. Good morning, Pong Ping. Are you going somewhere in your lift? Yes. I have received an invitation from my friend the Emperor to attend the annual Peach Blossom Festival in China. Oh, my! Now, doesn't that sound exciting? Perhaps you would like to accompany me. Sorry, Pong Ping. Mum's looking forward to doing some shopping in... Don't be silly, Rupert. We can go to Nutchester any time. <laughs> Honestly, dear, where's your sense of adventure? This is fantastic, Mum. But what about Dad's twig tea? Where better to find it than China? Pong Ping! Welcome, my old friend. And Rupert, so nice to see you again. Thank you, Your Majesty. May I introduce Mum? Uh, I mean, Mrs. Bear. Leho Ma? <laughs> Leho Ma, Mrs. Bear. I didn't know you spoke Chinese. Oh, I don't really. Just enough to be polite. It is said. Those who we think we know best are most often full of surprises. I suppose you're right, Pong Ping. I'd always thought Mum was just, well, Mum. She she me. You are most welcome. Dragons! Hey! <laughs> I hope the festival is to your liking. It's wonderful. We certainly wouldn't have seen anything like this in Nutchester. Ah, yeah! There is another thing you will not see. <laughs> there is nothing to fear, Pong Ping. It's a hot air balloon. I use it to tour my faraway provinces. I'm sure you make quite an impression. As have you, Mrs. Bear. Perhaps you would like to take a ride? That's very kind of you, but I think Mum would love to. Don't look so surprised, Rupert. Only the most distinguished visitors are invited to ride in the Emperor's Dragon Balloon. Oh, my! Are you all right, Mum? If we're too high up, I could... The view is... Breathtaking. Don't worry, dear. Just don't look down and you'll be all right. <laughs> Thanks, Mum. Oh! <gasps>
afraid we're going to be very late for dinner. I wonder what's keeping them. I hope they're not having difficulty finding my twig tea. Hmm. I know. I'll make dinner. They're bound to have worked up quite an appetite after a long day of shopping. Hang on! It's going to be a tight fit! Not a scratch. It's lucky we each found a soft landing. Where are we? Somewhere among the far high mountains. It is most likely that no one has been here before. Then we'll be the first explorers ever to climb down Mystery Mountain. <laughs> we'll make headlines. <laughs> I've never heard of anyone being famous for climbing down a mountain. That will be another first. It is said, watch that first step, for it may be a doozy. That's right. And there won't be any signposts to mark the way. We'll just have to trust our intuition. Something tells me this is the way to go. So much for intuition, Mum. Now, Rupert, don't give up so easily. Here we are. This is exactly what we need. I didn't notice these were here. Ali up! Mum? Where did you learn that? I was captain of the school athletics team in my younger days, dear. Full of surprises. Well, now, this is going to be a nice surprise. Hmm, two eggs. One cup flour. <laughs> Did you hear that? You wait here, Mum, while I... It is said, he who skips breakfast will hear about it later. with some sort of hungry beast. Poor dear. Why don't we stop and see if we can find you something to eat? How lovely. This looks like the perfect spot to stop for lunch. Mmm. Why don't you two pick some fruit while I rustle up a quick pot of tea? There, a feast fit for a king, or two hungry shoppers. Those two are certainly making a full day of it. I, I wouldn't be at all surprised to find them buried under a pile of shopping. Tea is ready, boys. This is brilliant, Mum. I wasn't a girl guide for nothing. Mmm! These Chinese pears are most delicious. That's funny. Mine tastes just like a strawberry tart. Mmm! Chocolate eclairs. It tastes like each person's favorite treat. How can the same fruit have three different flavors? I'm beginning to get a funny feeling about this mountain. Hey! Someone's in trouble! <laughs> oh, dear! Help! Help! Oh, help! <coughs> Please don't crush me. I didn't mean to fall into your tea. I wouldn't think of such a thing. Oh, thank you. <laughs> they don't call this the Mountain of Many Perils for nothing. The Mountain of Many Perils? Ah, yeah. I have heard tales of such a place. 
It is said to be protected by a very powerful guardian who does not welcome trespassers. You must beware. The guardian will set many traps to catch you. What kind of traps? Oh! Ah! Rupert, why must he ask such a question? Ladybird, I'm trying, ooh, ooh. but I'm, I'm waterlogged. I've got you. Mom, look out! Yeah! Yeah! This is all my fault. Mums aren't supposed to go on adventures. I should have insisted we go shopping in Nutchester. And miss out on all the excitement? Mum! You're safe! Goodbye. You must hurry down the mountain as fast as you can. Good luck! There's no need to look so surprised, dear. I used to go rock climbing every summer when I was a youngster. You never told me that. You never asked. Now, let's get down this mountain before we run into any more trouble. But where did you find that rope? I just turned around and it was lying there in the grass. I don't know if you've noticed, but ever since we got here, whatever we need seems to pop up as if by magic. It's like someone is helping us down the mountain. Or maybe leading us down the garden path. Knock, knock, well, knock! Uh, who said that? You're supposed You're to say, supposed who's, to say there? who's there. Who's there? Boo. Boo who? Don't cry, it's only me. <laughs> well, don't just stand there. Come along, come along. Oh, oh no! Ready? Ready for what? As if you didn't know, you've got to answer my riddle. I'm sorry. We really don't have time. You see... Oh, I've been waiting for ages for someone to come by so I can ask them my riddle. Well, all right, if it'll make you feel better. <laughs> I warn you, it's a tough one. The most impossibly riddlesome riddle that ever there was. <clears throat> what is black and white and red all over? The newspaper. <gasps> oh. Well, treasure's yours. Congratulations. What? We don't want your treasure. What good is a hobgoblin with a treasure if he can't risk it all on a clever riddle? It's all yours now. Well then, we give it right back to you. No, no. You won fair and square. How about double or nothing? Yes, ask another riddle. I'm certain you'll stump us. But that was my very best riddle. In fact, it was my only riddle. Try this one. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> How do you get down from a mountain? I wish we knew. <laughs> I win, I win. Oh, thank you. Oh, you're very welcome. <laughs> and now, if you'll excuse us, we really do have to get down from this mountain. That's the most riddly, riddlesome riddle there ever could be. <laughs> How do you get down from a mountain, Mum? You don't, dear. You get down from a duck. You know, <laughs> feathers. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like someone doesn't appreciate the joke. It sounds to me like someone needs our help. Mm. Oh, yeah! <laughs> well, these are just what we need. Like magic. 
It could be a trap. Perhaps this is a home of the angry guardian of the mountain. We'll take a look just to make sure. Besides, I've always wanted to go caving. Now I see where your adventurous spirit comes from, Rupert. <laughs> Perhaps it is just the wind blowing through the catacombs. It sounds like it's right in this room, but I don't see... <gasps> has stubbed his toe. Oh, and it isn't the first time. So we've heard. I can't help it. It's so dark down here, I can't see a thing. <laughs> Lucky we found you. This should make your life a lot easier. Oh, thank you. My toes feel better already. I wonder if you can help us. We're trying to get down from the mountain. Sorry. You can only get down from a duck, but I can take you to the bottom if you like. Follow me. Watch your step. <laughs> Time to see if my hard work has paid off. <laughs> <gasps> But how do we get to the sampan? I have another bad question, Rupert. Yeah! Hang on! <laughs> oh, I assure you, my friends, this is not a dream. You must be the guardian of the mountain. I guard the mountain, and the mountain guards me. It is my home. You're not mean and angry at all. <laughs> How could I be, Rupert, after you have shown me such kindness? But I don't remember meeting you before. Oh, we have met many times, as I have led you on a path of trials. You showed me you have respect for even the tiniest of creatures. You were generous when greed could have easily overcome you. And you showed concern for others before thinking of yourselves. I welcome you to paradise, where anything you wish for can be yours. Mmm, strawberry, mandarin, orange, my, my favorite. favorite. And since you have proven yourselves worthy, you may stay here forever. Oh dear. This does not please you? We are most honored, Guardian. It would certainly be enjoyable to spend some time here. But not forever. I'd miss Dad and all our friends terribly. You would refuse such a generous reward as a lifetime in paradise? I think everyone has their own paradise. Yours is here, and ours is in Nutwood. <laughs> I should not be surprised at such an answer. We really should be getting home. I hope you're not too disappointed. Not at all, my friends. Not at all. But I shall allow you to live in paradise after all. <laughs> Chinese twig tea. Just what we needed. I will tell the emperor that we have returned safely. He will be most interested to hear our story. 
It will be such a relief to get home and put my feet up. This has been quite a day. Do you know what the best part was? I found out that not only are you a great mum, Mum, you're a great pal to have along on an adventure. Oh, thank you, Rupert. But I don't think I'm really cut out for all that excitement. But you are, Mum. In fact, you were very brave. <laughs> well, dear, I had to put on a brave face for your sake. You do tend to be a bit of a worrier, just like your father. So there you are. I was beginning to get worried. Well, I won't worry about you anymore, Mum. There isn't any disaster you can't handle. You're just in time. I made dinner. Well, there might be one. <gasps> oh, my! Ah, I see you found my Chinese twig tea. I hope it wasn't too much trouble. Thank you.